So we started making rice cakes a few years ago. Um, Alan started making them and then it just kind of took off and people loved them. And then every race in the U.S. we try to just set up a little table and set up a little station and introduce a bunch of new people to it. You know, the European guys are a little slow to uh, anything different or new. So initially we're just like spoon feeding them samples like, swear to God, it's not going to kill you. And then they try and like, oh, that was pretty good. So then it, it's a slow process of getting the guys used to it and trying it. Then we start doing this. And now, after doing this for, this is my uh, fourth year. Um, so now, after the first couple of days, uh, pretty much all the Team Swan years come over and they help wrap. We'll have some of the riders come over and they'll wrap their own. They'll make their own. They'll make custom blends. And this just works out to be a super easy, versatile solution for ride food. We're doing the food as well, but we're also doing the race food, which is, which is the rice cakes. Um, so nice, easily transportable, super tasty. We do a savory, we do a sweet. Uh, we cook the rice early in the morning, uh, bring it down here, um, flavor it up. The savory is going to be uh, all cashew butter and bacon, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of uh, Bragg's aminos to keep, it, keep the rice nice and moist. And then we do a sweet with, uh, with the berries and, and uh, some lemon juice. The nice thing about the rice cakes is they're about 60% water so that allows the body to break them down a little bit easier. We use cooked sticky rice. We always use cooked sticky white rice because it's low fiber. It has a really nice high moisture content. Um, it tastes really good and pretty much everybody can handle it because there's you know people that have gluten issues or nuts or soy or whatever. Rice across the board works for everybody. In the last few years everybody grew up eating bars and all the gels and stuff but this this is better for you and it works better. What happens is all the pros, they eat together in a big dining hall, and the guys are typically just walking into rooms with uh, big buffet lines. In the past, for European teams coming to the States, if they wanted to get their own chef or wanted to get their own team doing it, there was only like one option. Mm -hmm. It was me, and there's only so many people I can cook for. What we did was, and we started talking to Jim Burrell and Kevin Livingston a few years ago about why don't we figure out a way to work with the local chefs and facilities to um, kind of create menu guidelines. So everybody's kind of working off the same song sheet mm -hmm. and the menus are more or less consistent. Each, each place we go, it's interpreted differently, yeah. but every place we go, the menus are very simple. The riders absolutely love it. So the whole thing is kind of designed around getting a process of best performance and then best rest and then resetting your stomach. That's the whole idea behind the food.